And as the Oscars are handed out, we reveal how Weta Digital created a magical landscape. Well, Wellington's Weta Digital again missed out for its work on the Planet of the Apes trilogy. This time, the team painstakingly grew digital forests, recreated avalanches and designed the movement of snow on fur. Simon Shepherd reports on just how they did it. It's a fierce war to be crowned king of special effects. So Weta Digital raised the bar by delving into minute detail to make it all believable. The moment, the moment it's not believable, it sucks people straight out of the movie and, you know, we, we failed basically. First, they geomapped the Sierra Nevada mountain range in America to faithfully recreate it. Then a computer program was designed to actually grow a digital forest. The system handles um, growing the forest, taking into account, you know, water, the amount of nutrients, you know, availability of sunlight, all that kind of thing, to accurately model the way that a real forest would grow in that landscape over and over. The aim, to make audiences not even realise it's there. It will just feel right, and that's because it's just the background environment of the scene, that's, that's what's most important. It just has to feel right yeah. so the audience can believe it. I guess that's the irony, is we put all this effort into creating this detailed forest so that no one will notice it. <laughs> <laughs> Weta has already won many awards for everything from Lord of the Rings through to Avatar. It may be hard to believe, but in that ordinary building, there are already six Oscar statuettes locked up in an office, and some in Weta Digital believe there should already be a seventh for their work on Planet of the Apes, and that in the past, they've been robbed. So surely, this time... Watching A3 was one of the first times I actually forgot and just fell deep into the movie with the acting that we provided, which was, a, which was yeah. pretty awesome. And the Oscar goes to... Blade Runner 2049. Robbed again. But with half a billion dollars in box office takings, no one's really lost. Simon Shepard, Prime News.